Ryan, I don't know if you saw, but Leon Dreisaitl had some high praise for you this morning. He said you were the coach's favorite player in the whole world. Uh, what is your response to that? Um, I mean, that's <laughs> nice of him to say, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I try to be a, a, a coachable player for sure and uh, just try to help out uh, in whatever way I can. You know, I think that's a good lesson for kids. And we get a lot of kids watching NHL Network all the time. Being coachable, right? Being open to learning and growing even at the highest level. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I still uh, I still feel like there's parts of my game where I want to continue to improve on, and um, sometimes you you need uh, somebody that's watching you on a daily basis to, to help you out with that. So, um, no, I, I still feel like uh, there's there's room for me to grow, and uh, I try to be the best I can be. Yeah, always room for all of us to grow. Uh, I think one thing that's gone exceptionally well for the Oilers uh, this postseason is the penalty kill. How are you guys doing this? Um, you know, it's it's something that we uh, <clears throat> we work on all year. Um, uh, we talk about a lot. We we try to improve all the time, and I think uh, at this point we're we're so used to to the chemistry out there with each other that uh, um, it, it, it clicks really well. But I mean, having said that, uh, there's still a lot more work to do. Uh, we know that these guys have a, a good unit. Uh, they make it tough on us every time. Um, but I think the way that we can read off each other helps uh, having kind of pairs, having tandems um, throughout the season. It sounds like that communication is is important in the success on special teams. You look at the last game, what's been the focus for you guys going into game five on in terms of like the things that you did well last game? Um, well, I, I think uh, even, in, um, even in game three, I, I thought our start was really good. Uh, I got away from him a little bit in the second uh, and, and kind of the other way around in, in game four. So, I mean, we got to find that consistency a little more and we know that they're going to have pushes and uh, when they have pushes, I think we can do a bit of a better job of managing the puck, um, not turning it over. We know that these guys, uh, when you turn the puck over, they feast on that. Yeah. So uh, do a little bit better of that when they are pushing and just uh, play a little more consistently. Last one for you. The swings of momentum have been wild. I mean, for fans, it's a crazy ride to be taken on, but you're experiencing it. I mean, what have these last couple of games been for you guys, like for you guys as players? Do you feel that? Yeah, I mean, def <laughs> I mean, definitely. There's been momentum shifts. Um, I mean, uh, when we're pushing, obviously, you gotta you gotta try to take advantage and, and bear down as much as you can because uh, you know that eventually they're gonna have their push back. So. Uh, and and kind of like I said before, when they are pushing, you just got to manage it. Uh, make sure you're not giving them anything easy. All right. Thank you for this. Thanks, Jackie.